Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So I'm back with a more prestigious internship opportunity. If you are the one who want to work on real world project with IIT Bombay and want to contribute to open source projects as well, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to tell you one more fellowship program, 4C Summer Fellowship Program 2025. And uh, what is it? I'll tell you how to apply for this eligibility criteria and why you should apply for this. Everything we'll be discussing in this video. Don't worry. But before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If during this summer vacation, if you want to upskill yourself, want to learn any programming language like Java, and you want some, you are searching for some uh, good resources, then I have got you covered. Because I have already started my Java course from 28th of March, Java from scratch. If you don't know anything, still you can go for this course because I'm going to cover everything. If you don't know ABCD of coding, even you can go for this course. Here, I'm going to cover everything from scratch till like oops on multi-threading, database connectivity, socket, AWT, projects also. So this course will take you all the way like from the beginning, all the way to solving lead code questions as well as building projects. Right. So we'll be solving lead code and placement questions as well as in this course. And one more thing, you will get my handwritten notes as well. So no need to worry from where you have to study and all. The material also you will get. You can download the notes in detailed manner. The notes are there. PPTs, PDF of all the programs. And uh, plus, if you got stuck somewhere, suppose, then weekly we will have a live doubt resolution session. So there you can ask me your doubts and I am there to answer you. Plus, after enrolling, you will get access to a dedicated WhatsApp group as well. There also, you interact with the other students and you can interact with me. You can ask your doubt in that group. So, it's like I'm just one message away from you in that case. After that, after the completion, you will get a completion certificate. And you'll also get like uh, quiz and assignments also. So, not just theory, practical also. We will be seeing lead code questions, placement questions and all. And right now, it's... With early bird offer it just for three triple nine. The original price is seven triple nine, but just slashed it to half and extra ten percent off. If you use the code Java ten, extra ten percent off just for first hundred students. So the link you will get in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. And if you are more interested, like you want to learn, go for DSA as well. So you can check out my other course, DSA with Java. So the link of that course also you will get in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now let me just tell you what is this uh, summer fellowship program. So this is a uh, 4C summer fellowship 2025 program. 4C, it, it is a, you can say it means a free and open source software, uh, software for education. So this project, 4C project, it's an initiative uh, taken by IIT Bombay to promote use of uh, open source softwares in research and education. So they provide this summer fellowship every year where the selected students get to work on some real world projects and contribute in open source under the guidance of IIT Bombay professors and experts. So it's really a good opportunity. Plus one more thing, this is remote. So it's basically hybrid, you can say. Uh, more precisely, if I say it's hybrid, means you can opt for remote work as well as if you want, if you wish to go to IIT Bombay and work there. You can go and work there. So I'll tell you everything about this. Plus one more thing is what? Who can apply for this? Anyone can apply for this. Any student who is pursuing the UG, PG or PhD or any, anything, diploma or anything. B.Tech, B.C.A., M.C.A. or M.Tech or PhD degree or anyone can, uh, can apply for this. Whether you are in a first year, second year, third year, final year. Yes, you can. You are eligible to apply for this. But yeah, it's not that much simple. You have to do something before, uh, you know, get before getting selected for this internship. So this is a little bit tough. You have some knowledge of there are some prerequisite, some programming, uh, programming languages or uh, maybe some like uh, open source tools. Also, you have some knowledge of using open source tools. So I'll tell you that thing also. But yeah, it's open for everyone. Any student can, can apply for this. Yes, that is a good point. Now, how to participate for this? Let me tell you. And first, let me tell you the uh, date. The last date of submission is 7th of April. So, uh, it's already 3rd. So, you have to apply uh, soon. Maybe today itself you can apply. But how to apply? Let me show you the procedure also. See, this is a hybrid fellowship. Hybrid fellowship where the students can come to IIT Bombay. If you wish, you can go to IIT Bombay and you can physically work with the POSI team. 
yes but if you are comfortable in remote work you can go for that also it's okay right now you have to first complete a task before applying for this now what are those tasks see students who want to participate in, in this basically uh, have to learn a free and open source software it can be anything anyone like uh, many uh, flows software are there like one is inkscape is there so you can go for any one uh, tool and complete complete at least one screening task now what is this screening task i'll tell you i'll show you see when once you go to here registration and selection process then you have to re to register you have to select one of the projects from the table given below now where is this table then you can fill out this form now let me show you the table see this these are the task you have to choose any one project there are so many projects given right and under these projects there are so many tasks under these projects suppose you have chosen this this e same or any one project under this there are so many tasks 3 4 or 1 2 tasks any one you have to complete if you have choose you have chosen this project any one of the following so there are 1 2 3 4 5 tasks you have to complete any one of this like civil engineering module development developer program to calculate shear force and bending moment for a beam experiencing a moving head lord obviously this is for civil engineers so i don't have idea about this you can go for this if you want to check out in more detail you can go here web link is there you can view this from here there you will be given everything the resources the requirements how to process what to do and everything accordingly you just read out that thing and just do it so this is the project and here you will get c internship under ostag project and preferred qualification and link skills for this this is if you are you are going to select this then civil engineer software engineering or object oriented programming and knowledge of these things and link to the detailed task description you just click there and you can check out what to do any one of the tasks you have to complete and you have to submit everything you will get in the link everything right see let's go for this simple one because that is about civil engineer so i don't know if you anything about this let's go for this project focal and any one of the tasks you have to follow task one task two in task one graphic design screening task so you have to complete out of this any four six tasks are given you have to complete any four if you don't go for this task you can complete this task animation creation screening task complete any one out of these four and you can go here if you want to contact for this project the contact id is also given and you can view here the details of this project so this you just read out this screening task participate participants mu must complete one task from the list there are two tasks right submission format is also given to you how to submit that is also given to you for any query you can mail with the subject line everything you get everything you get you just read out this right so uh, submission list for the graphic design screening task first is design a book cover a5 size see with the help of inkscape this is a uh, you can say that open source tool right so there are out of six you have to complete i guess four out of these six right you have to maybe create or some educational poster a four size create a poster for a specific subject topic such as physics or concept using using inkscape or gimp this is also a open source tool software so you can use it right submission in zip file containing these files the format is also given and font and any reference images used for the design this is task 2 if you go for this you just read out this and you have to complete accordingly technical requirements are given using knowledge of open source graphic design and animation software you have to familiar with these tools and you have to understand how to design and produce educational content in a creative manner these are the resources and references to use you can click there and you can check if you want to download any resource you can go from here any software like inkscape you want to down download link is also given to you you can download from here if you want to learn you can go to this and you can go and you can check out there you will get tutorials you can learn so this submission is very important you have to complete under select any one project complete on any one task under that project submit that right based on that you will be getting selected for this fellowship program right so the quality of your submission matters here 
how you submit the quality of your work i mean basically the quality of your work what type of work you submit not how you submit what kind of work you submitted based on that you will be getting selected so yeah it's not that much much easy to get selected for this fellowship program it's a little bit tough you have to complete out of these so the link you will get in the description box of this video don't worry you go and check out now let's see if you have selected any one project then you can go and fill out this application form registration form so once you click here you will be here and uh, you have to give your some details first name last name your contact number and some basic details about you as well as the degree you are doing uh, phd masters bachelor diploma or others see i have told you now it's open for everyone any student can apply for this or here you have to mention your name and the stream of the course you are in which you are right now in which year you are first year second year third year fourth year graduated or junior college or school student or other anyone can apply for this right so email id of your hod or faculty member and uh, from which country you are india or other country so if you are not from india you can apply so these are some basic details and what project you have selected you have to click on that right and how you come to know about this internship just select any one from this how so um and why do you want to participate in this fellowship it the answer should be according to you and then submit that's it now whatever you have submitted the work based on that you will get a reply you will be you know you got selected or not now declaration of result will be would be on 15th of april and uh, the internship would be started from 15th of may till 15th of july at least one and half month internship at least one and half month so you should be free during this time then only apply for this and why you should apply the benefits you get the opportunity to work in iit bombay with iit bombay faculties and contribute to open source this is really uh, you can say uh, you will gain the that uh, recognition of contributing in open source and at the time of placement you will get you will be benefited from this thing that yeah you have contributed to some open source kind of thing okay so certificate also you will get of oc summer fellowship if you add this then definitely it will add the value to your resume so if you are serious about getting an internship that add some you know real value to your resume don't miss this so the link you will get in the description box of this video go and check out and if you have any other doubt you can just ask me in comment section so i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care